So let's talk about a couple stories that'll help you illustrate how powerful this holistic approach, if, uh, approach is if we really look at the body as a whole. I had a client who could not lift his arm above his shoulder, pretty much in that frozen shoulder type group there, right? Uh, he threw uh, football, he played quarterback all the way through college for years, and he'd been to physical therapy for, for how long? Three to four months. Um, he's had other therapies, had doctors look at it, he considered surgery, and he was missing time with some of his kids because he wanted to continue to play like backyard and just hang out with kids and have fun and his shoulder was killing him. Um, when I assessed him, I found out that he actually had a lot of great musculature. So he was being treated by the PT clinic as if he was weak. All the muscle bellies were very robust and strong. You know what it was? There was a couple structures that were missed, they were not assessed. Uh, I call them the breaks of the shoulder. We had to unlock those. It did require manual therapy, but once I did that, I think it was maybe eight to 10 sessions there, uh, he got almost complete full 180 degree flexion of that shoulder. And, um, and this is years ago, and, and from what I hear, he's still doing really well today. It was a permanent fix because we didn't just look at the shoulder and do traditional PT. We looked at all the structures involved with that. So we talked about his breathing, his T-spine, scapular retractors, the stuff I talked to you about earlier. Um, we addressed that. Another client was um, who came to me and he could not bend down and with his hands below about the knee level. He would get excruciating pain and oftentimes vomit. It was so bad, just instantly, just sometimes projectile vomit. I mean, it was just, imagine not knowing if you could bend down or not to pick something up or tie your shoes. It just completely controlled his whole life. He had actually opted already for surgery, which failed, it did almost nothing. Uh, he had a lot of medications he was taking, injections that almost all failed. You know what I did? I unlocked the muscle bellies I told you about and helped him unlock those, okay, clinically, and I gave him homework to keep those moving. And what happened, the nerves are being trapped in there, especially his sciatic nerve. And once we unlocked those, it was like a whole different person. And I retested him on the same test as when he came in, and he got about three to four times um, improvement in range of motion from unlocking these muscle bellies, okay? So all these professionals had missed that. And again, am I knocking them? No, I'm saying there's a place for surgery, right? There's a place for injections. I'm just saying um, that, was, that didn't work for this individual. So what if we take a non-invasive approach, soft tissue approach, a neurological approach first, and consider that before going into those other options which are always still available on the table for you, all right? So hopefully this helped you out. I know that's a huge topic. We could talk about it for hours and there's so many individual things that you probably want to address, but I just wanted to at least give you um, an, an, some insight into uh, chronic pain and what we can do about it, all right? I've, I've written a uh, really great ebook that you can check out on my website called The Vibrant Health Breakthrough is the name of the ebook. Website is gonna be drjasond.com, so drjasond, as a naturopathic doctor.com. Um, hopefully you can check out that ebook and hopefully get something from it. It's just all pure content. I'm here to help you be well, okay? Until next time, you be good, bye-bye.